Ready? Let's go. Happy Flame Day, everybody. We are excited. Ethan and I love to come and spend our Fridays with you. Is that right? Yes. You do? I do. I do. So we just stopped by today to give a little bit of insight into uh, the backstory of why the blue flame is the blue flame and yeah. why we're so contagious. So we're going to talk about that real good, real quick, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I wanted yeah. to give you the backstory. Yeah. Here's the backstory. Yeah. Um, I was yeah. born at yeah. six months yeah. gestation. Yeah. Or six and a half months. Yeah. Oh, two pounds. Yeah. Three ounces. Yeah. Yes, and they gave me a 50% yeah. chance to live. During the time of my birth, uh, hospitals were not as advanced. Doctors did not have as much knowledge as they do now about premature birth. Um, so every baby that was born prematurely on the floor with me, unfortunately, did not survive. And... Um, my doctor till this day she remembers me because i was the only baby that lived and she called me her miracle baby and the thing is this um i don't know exactly the full story but i do know that she um told my parents that there was a 50 percent chance to i only had a 50 percent chance to live and they also immediately told my father to scrub down and to uh, go and begin to speak to me and massage me and try to get um, some life going and to get some correspondence going on between he and I um, because my mom was going through some traumatic things and she couldn't do the bonding. Um, so that caused him to begin to pray and try different things and talk to me and um, some of the things he said happened they don't even sound real but I realized today that they had to have happened um, one thing I remember the most is him saying that he asked the nurses could he put a prayer cloth in the incubator with me and they said no because of the germs um, it would be too risky so he taped the prayer cloth to the bottom of the incubator and ask God to allow it to be a form of contact and that he would give us a miracle and allow me to live. Now, not only did I live when they said I wouldn't, um, they said I would not be able to walk on my own and if I walked I would need assistance of uh, the arm stilts. And they said I would not uh, be able to speak of a, above a whisper. Obviously, I can do more than that. So God is awesome. And even uh, deeper, they said my lungs were so underdeveloped that I would not be able to project. I would not be able to be active. I wouldn't definitely wouldn't be able to run around a church and preach and hoop and holler and do the things that I do uh, today. So it simply says to me that uh, obstacles given by man don't have to hold you back and even uh deeper than that i know some of you saw that i posted about the young lady who uh, played the piano with her toes and she sang listen we complain about all these things that we have going wrong in our lives but we are have such advantages that we look over we look over advantages we look over the opportunities that we have because we are so focused on what we consider to be the obstacles that we can't see what we actually can do so let me just say to you today ignore the obstacles things that people say that you can and can't do what doctors say you can and can't do God is a miracle working God and he has given you the power to get up and take care of what you have inside of you the Bible says in Philippians 4 it says that uh, you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you and not only that as he has provided that that you need in, in, in the same chapter he says he's giving you what you need so that means that you can get up everything you need is inside of you everything you need is inside of you did you hear what i just said everything you need is inside of you so stop looking to people stop looking to other uh 
things and trying to cling to to physical things or, or whatever it is that you're trying to fill the voids in your life or feeling like things are not working out in your favor, hey, you have everything you need. He has supplied, that's what it says. He has supplied your needs already. And the need that you think you have is not even a need because everything you need is already in you. He anointed you, he chose you, he gifted you, he favored you, he called you. All of that gives you an advantage that you cannot ever focus on any disadvantage because everything you need is already in you and you can do all things through Christ. Hey, make sure you go get that album, Contagious. We love you. Is that good, Ethan? Are you sleepy? Tell everybody bye-bye. Happy Flame Day. Night night. You want to take a nap? Okay, nap time. Bye, happy flame day. Bye. Bye. Happy flame day, everybody. Brand new music available for you right now at claritymusic.com. Let's go. Love it how you always come through Every single time I call you